bless God for this day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And I, I, was, I was seeking God concerning this day, concerning mm -hmm. the message of today. Um, the Lord gave me a message that I was shocked. I thought it is uh, not for, for this season. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know when God speaks, He speaks according to how He sees it. Mm -hmm. um, and it, I was asking, what shall I share today? And He told me, let them have dominion. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Let them have dominion. dominion. Amen. And when God speaks like this, He's not speaking to people outside there. Mm -hmm. He's speaking to me and you. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. So all of us we're supposed to have dominion. And um, I'll read with, uh, with with you guys. I want some somebody to open Genesis one verse twenty six. The other person should just hold on Exodus thirty five two to three. And the other person should come to um, Matthew twenty five fourteen to thirty. I'll be reading. Um, the only three points that I'm going to dwell on. And every scripture is an anchor to uh, every point. So uh, if you're reading Genesis 1 verse 26, uh, the one thing that you need to do for you to exercise dominion on the earth, because dominion means that God has given you the authority to rule on his behalf. Yeah. Uh, Genesis 1 verse 26, you can read for us. Genesis 1, 26. Yes. Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea, and the birds in the sky, over the livestock, and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. Uh, Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. As you can see, you have been given that authority by God, our Heavenly Father, to rule. And if we look at those three things there, he has mentioned the sky. He has mentioned uh, the, the land, the animals, and the sea. So dominion is supposed to be exercised on the sea, in the sky, and on the land. You might be asking dominion, what do you mean by dominion? It means that God, when he created the earth, he created it for you and me to exercise the dominion of God for the earth. But not everybody has this um, opportunity to exercise the dominion of God on the earth. So today I want to learn how do I exercise the mandate that God has given to mankind. It was the mandate that was given to Adam, our first, our first father, our father. And each one of us has that uh, mandate upon our lives. Praise God. Amen. So he spoke and said, let them have dominion. Today, as we speak, there are some people who are already exercising that dominion on the earth. There are people already who are exercising that dominion. When they say the buzz of the air, it's um, as a metaphor. Because there are some people who have built their businesses in the air. Anything to do with the air. Like the air transport. Anything to do with the air. There are some businesses that involve the air. The other day, I saw uh, people going to space. For tourism, space tourism. Praise God. <laughs> that is dominion as far as the space is concerned. They are exercising their dominion because they were told you were told to rule. Praise God. Mm -hmm. To innovate and rule. And there are people who are doing business across the sea. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Even in the days of King Solomon, that thing used to that the ships used to go from one continent to another to trade. That's a type of Dominion in that area. And when he says uh, over the, the moving things, the animals, you might be thinking, hey, animals, the jungle, what, what should I do with the jungle? You know, those days, this Bible is written in the days whereby there were no cars, no trucks. So even transportation uh, used to be, people used to use donkeys, camels to move around. So when the Bible says exercise dominion over the moving things, it's into transportation and anything that is on the earth. Praise God. Amen. So all of us have been given that grace to dominate in a particular area. Mm. Remember, we are not dominating people. Mm. We are dominating a territory. Mm. Praise God. Amen. God has built in you a, a, a grace or an, a mandate to dominate and rule 
to represent me. Praise God. Amen. So one of the things that we need to know is to, number one, know God. To be reconciled to God. Because this mandate was given to Adam. But he went and failed. Adam lost it. But when Christ comes, he comes to restore what was lost. So the first thing is knowing the Lord. Coming into alignment with the purposes of God. Remember Christ, his greatest work is to reconcile all of us. Praise God. What we have lost. The relationship. There's no way you can exercise dominion on earth without having the blueprint. Praise God. Those who build buildings, roads, those who build important structures on the earth, they have a blueprint. Praise God. Am I right, Rita? Yes. There's a blueprint. And for you to exercise dominion on the earth, you need God to give you the blueprint. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You cannot just wake up and say, uh, I want to go and do this business. Because I saw uh, Samson do it, I saw Rachel do it, I want also to do it. No, you don't operate that way. There is a particular space that God has apportioned for all of us. That's why I don't see it fit for me to be jealous about anybody. Mm. Because somebody has been told to go to Mombasa, mm. the other person has been told to go to Kisumu, mm. me have been told to go to Mandera. Mm. So, why, why am I jealous? <laughs> <laughs> How can you start to be jealous and yet you are going to different places? Mm. How will it benefit you when you are jealous of that person who has been told to go to Mombasa? Yes. But you, you are all, you are going to Kisumu. Mm. Praise God. Amen. It's because people don't understand mm. their role, mm. their strength. Mm. Praise God. Amen. People don't understand what God has called them to do. That's why we keep on fighting. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Uh, in fact, the Bible says, we, we have contentions and quarrels among us too. Mm. It's because of the carnal nature, the flesh. Mm. We are in the flesh all the time. That's why we keep fighting. Mm. We keep fighting each other. We are jealous of each other. Envy because we are in the flesh. Mm. But if you come up yonder mm. to a higher place, you'll discover mm. that there is no need mm. for me to fight with other Christ. Amen. There's no need. Why? Because Charles has been given a different assignment. Mm -hmm. I've been given a different assignment. Mm -hmm. We just complement each, each other. other. Mm -hmm. So one of the things is to know God. Mm -hmm. To be reconciled to God. Mm -hmm. And that comes by the avenue of salvation. salvation. Praise God. Amen. So just to be connected back. Mm -hmm. uh, this light cannot operate without it being plugged in. Mm -hmm. So knowing God, coming to Christ, being plugged in. Mm -hmm. Praise God. The power. Yeah. Plugged into the power, the power source. Mm -hmm. Who is Christ? Mm -hmm. Now, another thing that's very important. I was shocked when I had this. Being filled by the Spirit of God. Praise God. Amen. Being filled by the Spirit of oh, God. God. True dominion comes when the power of the Holy Spirit begins to operate in your life. True dominion comes when the power of the Holy Spirit begins to operate in your life. No wonder Christ told the disciples, don't leave Jerusalem. Tarry until power is poured upon you from on high. They did not start the assignment. They were in the upper room praying. Is it one twenty? They were praying. And suddenly there was the tongues of fire upon their heads. And they began to speak in other languages. They had to wait, praise God. Mm -hmm. And when the power came, the Bible says they became witnesses mm -hmm. in Jerusalem, Judea, and mm -hmm. Samaria. If you're not keen, you'll think that scripture only refers to the church. Mm -hmm. You know, God does not call us to remain in the church, mm -hmm. the building, the four walls. Mm -hmm. God is calling us to extend the mandate, the influence mm -hmm. of the government of heaven beyond the four walls. Mm. When I become a witness, it's not only saying uh, 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 that Christ, no, it's beyond that. Mm. You win them over to Christ and, those, and also you expose them to the wisdom of God, to the works of God. Mm. You win them to Christ, but it goes beyond the four walls. Mm. The Bible says they begin to move beyond Jerusalem. Mm. Anything you do, whether your career, your business, mm. is supposed to speak of the glory of God. Mm. How you conduct your business, how you conduct yourself at work, all of those things is a witness. Praise God. Mm -hmm. It's not only when you're sharing Christ, mm -hmm. also when you're living out Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we shall read Exodus 35. 
two to three. Exodus 31, verse two to three. If you're there, you can do this. I have chosen you, O Spirit of God, and you will draw my spirit, in understanding and intelligence, in knowledge and in all kinds of heart knowledge, to make artistic designs for work in gold, in silver, and in bronze. Uh, from verse 13, it talks about Bezalel. Mm -hmm. He was a man who was filled by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Not to preach. You see, mm -hmm. the Spirit of God is not only poured upon us to preach. Mm -hmm. Like he was filled with the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. to display skill. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. So the kind of dominion that God is preparing all of us is not only to preach, mm -hmm. but to display the wisdom of God, Amen. the counsel of God, mm -hmm. workmanship. Mm -hmm. Another mandate of the Holy Spirit is to display the wisdom of God, the creativity of the Father on the earth. Praise God. Amen. And one of the things is that we need to <coughs> allow the Holy Spirit to come into your life and to also expose the Holy Spirit to what you do. Praise God. Amen. If God has called you into business, you need to allow the Holy Spirit to lead you to the business. Mm -hmm. If God is calling you into the career, you need to invite the Holy Ghost on board and He will give you the directions. Because the Bible says He will teach you all things. I'm trying to teach you that it's not only when you're going to church, it's when the Holy Spirit is relevant. Mm -hmm. When you cry, you pray mm -hmm. aloud. No. The Holy Spirit has been given unto us to teach us all mm -hmm. things. How to conduct your marriage for those who are married. Mm -hmm. How to know the right person when they come your path. Mm -hmm. How to know the right business partner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we can be interacting in the marketplace, you don't know who is who. Mm -hmm. But the Spirit of God is supposed to tell you now, mm -hmm. do business with this one. Mm -hmm. Now avoid this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But not many people have developed this kind of intimacy. Praise God. Mm -hmm. That's why we lack dominion. Praise God. Mm -hmm. That's why we fall short because we have not invited the Holy Ghost of God. Mm -hmm. The only time we ask or fellowship with the Holy Spirit is when we pray in our closet. Praise God. Mm -hmm. But there is, there is this thing about the Holy Spirit. He wants to come into the boardroom. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit wants to come into your family, into your marriage. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit wants to come into your business. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God wants to come in your school mm -hmm. and teach you how to be here, what to do. Another role of the Holy Spirit, He'll teach you of what is to come. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Events that are supposed to come into, into your life, the Spirit of God will teach you. And from this scripture, you also see that um, when the Spirit came upon Bezalel, he was able to display abilities upon abilities mm -hmm. of artwork. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. So also in the world of art, mm -hmm. the Spirit of God gives grace. And I say artwork, I mean all industries that has to do with art. Mm -hmm. Drama. Praise God. Mm -hmm. It's not only preaching. You can do drama and display the message of the glory of God. You can do music mm -hmm. and display the skills of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. How many people have come to Christ just watching a skit? They organized a skit, they acted, and people saw the gospel in a way they haven't seen in ages. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many people have just come to Christ by just listening to a, an anointed song? Mm -hmm. Nobody preached to them, but the message in the song the Spirit of God, the anointing upon that music, that they came to Christ. Mm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So I want us to open our minds. The Spirit of God goes beyond, goes beyond the four walls. Mm. Praise God. Mm. He's to teach us all things. Mm. There are so many areas that God has blessed mankind with. There are so many gifts. If you begin to explore the gifts in this world, you won't be, you won't finish. Praise God. Amen. But not everybody understands that. There are people who invented uh, uh, things which are carrying even up to carrying the generations, even up to now. Mm -hmm. The right brothers. Mm -hmm. Someone told me they were Christians. Mm -hmm. Imagine today without the air transport. Mm -hmm. How 
will business be? How will ministries be? Most of them receive these things by revelation, mm. by a dream, mm. by divine inspiration. Mm. Praise God. Amen. It is impossible for you to have dominion when you don't have a relationship with the Spirit of God. Because when you have a relationship with the Spirit of God, you will be divinely inspired. Praise God. Amen. Mm. When you're not dreaming at least you just sit and you feel a fresh flow of thoughts. Mm. Thank you that long you need to put this application there. You don't need to do this. Praise God. Amen. Let us break away from the traditional mentality. Mm. Let us break away from the old white skin of religion. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Religion is just doing rituals from Monday to Friday without listening what heavens want you to do. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Let us allow the Holy Spirit to activate the innovation in us, Amen. the creativity. There's one idea you can just do. There's one thing you can just propose and your life changes and the life of people changes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So the Holy Spirit needs to invite him to touch our mind, quicken our minds. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is able to quicken your mind, even your spirit, mm -hmm. to begin to sharpen your skills, your academic skills. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. We should not lock the Holy Spirit outside from our academics, mm -hmm. from our families, mm -hmm. from our businesses, mm -hmm. from our industries. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let the Holy Ghost come on board. Let the Holy Ghost come in the boat. That some people have known this strategy. They pray every week and they have meetings and the Spirit of God will tell them do this, do that, do this. And they have succeeded. Christian business people. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Ghost is able to empower you to exercise dominion and mandate by giving you direction in all that you do. Praise God. Amen. It's just a matter of asking him, I don't know what to do. Which way should I take? Amen. Praise God. Amen. We cry because we don't exercise our dominion. We are not at the place God wants us to be. But today, let us resolve and say, Lord, today I want to move according to the frequency of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Some of us, the Holy Spirit is moving in that direction. You're moving in that direction. Mm -hmm. When things get thick, it's only say Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise God. Mm -hmm. We only say Holy Ghost when things have become. But let us invite the Holy Ghost before you spend that money. Before you get learn to involve the Holy Ghost in the little things. Mm -hmm. If you get money, even salary, ask the Holy Spirit this month, what should I do? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Not when the mind is over, say the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Yeah, I'm broke now. When you're broke, it's when you're very sharp. You're saying, now, if I get money, I'll do this. No. When you get that money, when you get that big business deal, <laughs> sit, pull a chair. One of that chairs is your chair. The other chair is the chair of the Holy Ghost. Tell the Holy Ghost to sit here. Mm. Holy Spirit, mm. speak to me. Amen. How will I use this money? Some people have got to, uh, um, have got to borrow loan, big loans, what billions. Yeah. And that money has gone down the drain because they put the money in the wrong hole. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. They did not see, they did not see the need to involve the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So what am I saying? Let us involve the Holy Ghost in the small details yeah. of our lives. Should I go out today? Should I remain? If you're a keen reader of the Bible, you discover even in the old times, before they go for war, mm. people ask the Holy Spirit, shall we pursue them? Will we win? Yes. Mm. And the Holy Ghost will tell them, no, I don't go for war. We lose. Mm. Ah, this one, go. Mm. That is David. Mm. He has a very strong army. Mighty men who are like giants. But first of all, they inquire. Mm. This will inquire of the Lord. Mm. Praise God. Amen. You cannot succeed without the ideas. Mm.
So every day tell the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, today, before you leave your house, tell the Holy Spirit, today I'm going out home with you. Mm. I'm going to make important decisions. Mm. Help me to make these decisions. Amen. Amen. Should I do business with Joseph? Should I be the mm. Praise God. Amen. And when you come back, leaving you tell mm. And the Holy Spirit will begin to increase his intimacy with you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The Holy Ghost is a person. Mm. It's not a force. Mm. It's not a thing. Mm. It's a person with emotions, mm. with the intellect, <coughs> with the wisdom mm. to advise you to direct the steps. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 to 30. Yeah. You just post there. I want to, to talk about those things as we go. Mm. So it means it's likened to a man who went on a journey, but before he went, he gave out talent. Praise God. Amen. Mm. So this is God. The man is God. Mm. And he has given us talents according to abilities. Mm. There are people who have five talents, mm. five abilities, mm. five strong or areas that you are strong. Five. Mm. Other? You see me? Three? Two? Two. The other one? One. 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 Mm. So, uh, earlier I said there's no need for us to be jealous about each other because, as you can see from the own stuff, some people have five. Mm. You're competing with somebody who has five talents. Mm. And you have one. <laughs> Does it make sense? No. So it's good for us to stick, stick to your land. <laughs> stick to your land, understand that I have one. Yes. And, that's and, that's and that's multiply that to one. Mm. The other hand has five. Mm. That's why you see some people have so many abilities. Mm. I know some people who cook, they are MCs, they are musicians, <laughs> they are actors, they are hey, motivational speakers. Yeah. One of them is a friend of mine. Uh. Okay. He has all those gifts. Mm. Every week he's being called somewhere to do something. Mm. And you want to compete with such a person. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Let us not compete. Mm. Let us complement each other. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So continue reading. Each according to his own ability. Mm -hmm. And then he went on his journey. The one who has received the five talents went, went at once and traded it with them. Okay. Let's post there. The one who was given five talents went and traded it. Mm. Praise God. Amen. So you're, you're not given the talents to sit with, with at home. Mm. You're given talents to trade, trade to transact. Mm. It means that if God has given you a gift mm. and you understand the gift, mm. begin to work out the gift. Mm. Touch lives with the gift. Amen. That is transacting. If you have a gift and you understand your gift, make sure that you begin to work on that gift. Begin to bless people with a gift. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, and he gained five more. Likewise, the one who had two gained two more. But, but the one who had received the one went and dug a hole in the ground and hid it, and he did not touch money. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So these are five, three people who have different abilities. Mm. One, two, four of them are trading with a gift. Mm. As soon as you trade with a gift, mm. you, you, you experience an increase. Mm. You make a profit. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Immediately use your gift to bless people. Mm. There is a profit. Mm. Not only you, but even God himself gets a profit. Amen. Because the heart of God, the heartbeat of God is souls, mm. humanity. Mm. There's nothing that God values more than the souls. So anything that is done to the benefit, the improvement, the betterment of humanity pleases God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Be it in business, be it in Amen. science, be it in technology. Amen. Anything that uh, 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 produces an increase, better life to humanity, Amen. pleases God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So the, the one with the five talents traded with the talents and he experienced an increase. The one with the two talents did the same. He experienced an increase. What about the one? Continue reading. 
Praise God. Amen. So you see why we should be asking ourselves, what do I have that God has given me? Because that's the only way we are going to possess what we live on this earth. You look at your set of gifts. You look at your talents, your strong abilities, and you begin to work them out. You begin to exercise your gifts and talents. Some people are very good in their hands-on. They're very good in the when when they they're very helpful. Mm -hmm. They are touching this, they are touching that, they are touching this. Just like Charles. Mm -hmm. It's very handsome. Yes. It means that one of the greatest uplifting that God will use mm -hmm. is that grace. Yes. Yeah. Well, some people are not hands on at all. Oh. <laughs> Some people, you know, with them and think something's wrong, you just know that you're in trouble. You'll spend the night in that, in that place. It's the volume. Some people are very good with their hands. Mm. They can manufacture things, they can create things with their hands. They can carve things. They can invent things with their hands. Those people are supposed to continue doing that. Amen. It's through that that they begin to exercise their dominion and succeed. Some people are very good in acad academic world. Mm -hmm. When it comes to writing thesis, mm -hmm. classwork, they are the best. They are supposed to pursue and have dominion in that dimension. Mm -hmm. Others, when you take them to class, <laughs> they just ask themselves, <laughs> when, when will the class end? <laughs> when will this class end? end. <laughs> but you take them to a different area. Mm -hmm. Like soccer, they yeah, right. for that ball, that pitch. Yeah. They excel at a particular place more than the other. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> That's why it's not good to um, discriminate against each other. Mm -hmm. We should appreciate other people's gifts and talents. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. So what am I trying to teach today? Mm -hmm. Identify the strength that God has given you. Amen. Ask God for the giftings that he has freely given. Others are very good in leadership. Mm -hmm. When you appoint these people in this position, everything begins to work. Amen. <laughs> I was being told some years ago that some people who carry a very big influence, mm -hmm. a party cannot start, but when they just come into the party, <laughs> the party starts. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. you, the party has not yet started. You're wondering when will the party start? Right. Probably the, 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 on the program, you are late by one hour. Mm -hmm. But they, when they, they just arrive, right. the party Begins, starts. Yeah. It is called influence. Yeah. <laughs> some people carry the grace of influence. Mm -hmm. When they tell people we are going in the east, mm -hmm. everybody moves in the east. When mm -hmm. they say we are going to the west, mm -hmm. everybody moves, moves to the west. west. Mm -hmm. So we should identify such people. Amen. And if you want to succeed, you give those people an opportunity to lead you. Amen. But if you want to appoint yourself, you don't carry influence. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. You've already proposed yourself. <laughs> you are fighting for that. <laughs> and you don't have what it takes. <laughs> you know, sometimes I actually wonder when I see somebody fighting for a position. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. People who carry the necessary tools are supposed to be given the opportunity to do that particular work. Praise God. Amen. Some people are very excellent leaders. Mm -hmm. When there's, there's a problem, you just call them, give them the mic. Mm -hmm. Within five minutes, everybody's relaxed. <laughs> when there's a riot, mm -hmm. when there is people are scattering, mm -hmm. they're complaining, mm -hmm. just look for a mic and give them. Mm -hmm. They begin to tell people, now my people, mm. you know it has already happened, mm. but this is the way forward. Oh, Praise God. Amen. God, when God was creating them, he placed in them the leadership abilities. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So talents are, how can I put it? There's a variety of giftings and talents in this world. Mm. But others have been uh, given the grace to be assistant helps. You work whenever you use, just to support the set man. Mm. Set man are the people who have been given the vision by God. Mm. The set people. Mm. Others come to support, the support staff. Mm. I know I worked in an organization, we had what you call the support staff. Mm. 
uh, or they are there to deal with the IT issues only. Mm -hmm. So these people are very important, but their role is to support mm -hmm. the vision mm -hmm. behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. It's not a must to come out publicly and begin to announce yourself. Mm -hmm. When God has given you grace to be behind the scenes, mm -hmm. just remain behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Some people are prayer warriors. You will never see them even in uh, um, any role in church. Mm -hmm. Reading announcements, no. Mm -hmm. Singing praise and worship, no. no. Mm -hmm. But when they